One of the reasons why we keep our eyes closed while we meditate is so that we can get the mind to settle down more easily. Fewer things to look at to distract our attention from the breath. The other reason is because the real problem is not outside. As the Buddha said, the reason we're suffering is because of our own cravings and clingings. And those come from within. So as you close your eyes, it makes it easier to focus on where the real problem lies, and also where you're going to find the solution. Right view, right resolve, all the way down through right concentration. These are things that come from within. We may hear about right view and read about it, but it's actually the act of adopting it and using it inside. That's when we get results. So if you find your mind wandering out, complaining about this, complaining about this, that's not right, this is not right, it may be true that those things are not right, but is that the real problem? The fact that you're getting yourself worked up about them, that's what's causing a weight on the mind. So look inside. Be very careful to watch as you go through the day, when you look at something, when you listen to something, why you're looking, why you're listening. How are you looking? How are you listening? What effect does it have on the mind? And what aspects of the mind or what qualities of the mind are actually going out to make you look and listen in those ways? If it, greed is doing the looking or anger is doing the listening, it's going to cause trouble. And you're sure enough to find things wrong with whatever's outside, but the trouble is coming from within. So try to exercise some restraint as you go through the day. Reminding yourself that whatever the problem is outside, and there are problems outside, we have to admit this is an imperfect world, but if we waited for the world to become perfect and then did the meditation, we'd die first, again and again and again, because it's not going to happen. But if you realize okay, the true problem is in here, you can turn around and look in here, then there's a chance that the problem can be solved. As the Buddha said, when he looked at the world, he saw that everything was already laid claim to. If he was going to find happiness, he was going to have to fight other people off. But then he looked inside and he saw that the real problem, this arrow, he said, was there in the heart. And it's one of those arrows with which the heart shoots itself. It's not somebody outside shooting it. You're shooting yourself. But fortunately, you can learn how to pull the arrow out. So keep your gaze your mental gaze, at least, always inward. Of course, as we go through the day, you have to keep your eyes open to, to engage with the world. But make sure that your inner gaze stays focused inside. That way the mind has a chance to settle down and it has a chance to tackle the problem where it really lies and it really can be solved. <laughs>